Good day class. This is Technology and Livelihood Education 7. I am teacher Marvin Louis R. Mangali and welcome to my class. Once again this is cookery class, first quarter, week 3 to 5 our topic is carry out measurements and calculations in a required task. Objectives for this lesson. At the end of this lesson you are expected to 1. Give the abbreviations and equivalents of measurements. 2. Measure ingredients according to recipe requirement. 3. Convert systems of measurement according to recipe requirement. Pretest LO1. Directions, read each statement carefully. Write the letter of the best answer on your notebook. Pause this video to answer this part. Pretest LO1. Directions, read each statement carefully. Write the letter of the best answer on your notebook. Pause this video to answer this part. Job well done, now let us extend your vocabulary. Equivalents, are the measuring amounts of standard ingredients. Substitution, are ingredients that can be substituted for others. Measurement, the process of calculating and determining the specific amount of an ingredient required by using a standard device. Abbreviation, a short form of word or phrase. Let's us start our discussion. How to measure ingredients correctly. Accurate techniques in measuring are as important as the tools for measuring. Here are some of the measuring tools that will help in measuring the ingredients correctly. Measuring cup for dry ingredients. Measuring cup for liquid ingredients. Measuring spoons. Portion and household scale. Always observe the following procedures. Rice and flour. Fill the cup to overflowing, level off with a spatula or with a straight-edged knife. Sifted flour. Most cake recipes call for sifted flour. In this case, sift flour two or three times. Spoon into the cup overflowing, level off with a spatula. Refined sugar. Sift sugar once to take out lumps, if any. Spoon into cup and level off with a spatula. Do not pack or tap the sugar down. Brown sugar. Pack into cup just enough to hold its shape when turned out off cup. Level off with a spatula before emptying. Level a measuring spoon with straight edge of a knife to measure small amounts of salt, pepper, leavening agents, or solid fats. Liquid ingredients. Liquid measuring cup, a glass or plastic cup with graduated markings on the side. Place the cup on a flat, level surface. Hold the cup firmly and pour the desired amount or liquid into the cup. Lean over and view the liquid at eye level to make sure it is the proper amount. Check and calibrate timers slash thermometers, scales, and other measuring devices according to manufacturer's manual before using. 
ingredients which measure by volume and by weight demand standardized measuring tools and equipment. Do not shake the dry measuring cup to level off dry ingredients. It is easier to weigh fat, butter, margarine if bought in pre-measured sticks. If fat does not come in pre-measured sticks, use a scale to weigh the needed amount. Liquids should be poured into cup in desired level. Cup should stand on a flat surface. Spring scales should be adjusted so that pointer is at zero, zero. Place pan, bowl, or piece of waxed paper on scale to hold ingredient to be measured. When using balance scales, place the pan on the left hand side of the balance and the pan weight on the right hand side. Add the required weights to the right hand side and adjust the beam on the bar so that the total is the weight needed. Ranges, sometimes called stoves, provide heat for cooking on top and in the oven. The controls for range heat must be accurate and easy to operate. Tools and utensils needed for cooking on the range and workspace should be within easy reach. Learn to match the size of pan to the size of the unit and to select the right amount of heat for the cooking job to be done. In microwave cooking, time schedules must be followed exactly because every second is important. The microwaves shut off automatically when the door is opened. Refrigerators are operated by electricity. The unit that does the cooling is underneath the box behind the grill. Dishwashers are a great help if food is rinsed from dishes before stacking them. Seven tables of weights and measurement follow the plan for stacking as suggested in the direction by manufacturer's manual. Mixers are the most useful machines in commercial kitchens and even at home. It is good for making salad dressings, sandwich fillings, for sauces, mashing potatoes, beet batter and eggs. Attachments are also available to chop, whip, squeeze out juice, and make purees. Coffee makers mostly are automatic, requiring only the measurement of coffee and water. In preparing foods on the range or in the fryer, heat is transferred by conduction. Us. See you again on lesson 2. Once again this is teacher Marvin. Always remember that you are a blessing.